Trent with Sally TV right here at Epicenter once again with Dorothy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot more sunny right now. You know, last week it was a lot raining when we had talked to you. It was under sort of sadder circumstances. So uh, you excited to play today? Yeah, I'm very, very excited. Nice. So I uh, guess what's, what is your uh, favorite, ex most favorite experience about these festivals? Because like they're different from club shows. You get anybody from people who love you to people who are just passing by and stuff. So like, how do you try to get those people walking by and how do you uh, keep your fans happy at the same time? Well, I mean, we just do our best and play our set, but I get excited about seeing the other bands that I like and I grew up on and trying to sneak side stage onto oh. their stage to watch them. You, you, you're on this, you're on this tour, on this festival, you guys sneak side stage to watch them? Oh yeah, oh, no, no, I don't have to sneak, but you know what I mean, I'm just kind of like, hey, can I get up there? Yeah, it's like, yeah, I played like an hour ago, I want to get up there. Yeah, do you know who I am? No. <laughs> yeah, so um, I guess, uh, who are some of those bands that you grew up listening to? Because it it's always intrigues me that there are the big bands playing this, and then there are middle of the road bands, and like everybody has fans coming to see them. But it's like a lot of the artists are fans of the bigger bands. And so what is it like having your own fans and then going to see bands that you like? And who are some of the bands that you like playing this? Uh, well, I really like Tool. I grew up on Tool. Okay. I know they're playing tomorrow, so yeah. I'm a little bummed about that. Uh, back at Rockville, I got to see Rainwolf, which was cool. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, if I can stay for Tool for tomorrow, I will. There you go. And uh, what's that like having, I guess, being a fan of music as well as having your own fans, you know, coming to see you and you're just excited as they are to see Tool, you know, or another band you like? Say, okay, one more time. Repeat the question for the people <laughs> who haven't had espresso today. Right, I'm sorry, yeah. So you have your fans, but you just said you're a fan of Tool and some other bands. But like at the same time, like you're a fan just like them of these bands. And so what is that relationship like having your own fans, but then when these bands play, you're like just as excited as they are? I mean, it just brings everyone together. You know, it's cool to play for our fans and make new ones. Mm -hmm. And usually by the third song, we win them over, which is really cool. Um, and then to see, you know, the potential of where you can be in a few years is really inspiring. Okay. Awesome. So we mentioned your album last week a little bit and stuff. Yeah. So if you can talk about a little bit more about it, if you will, like you, you mentioned, like, you know, it was uh, took 28 days to write it and everything. Right. And so what was that experience like? How many songs did you did you have to turn out a week or a day just to make that deadline? Um, we wrote about a song a day. I mean, we had cut about three songs. So we did the record in 28 days and uh, Flawless went number eight on the rock nice. charts, which was great. And uh, then Who Do You Love was our second single. And we just did a remix of Freedom, which is a collaboration with Angel Hayes. And I'm about to write our third record, so nice. I'm really excited about that. Um, so I guess there's like no, um, I guess, writer's remorse, because a lot of people, you know, when they write a song in a day, they're like, they got to analyze it, fix uh, the bad parts and stuff. So you're just like, you cranked them out and whatever came out is what came out, right? No, I mean, we, we were writing with Linda Perry. She's a great mentor okay. to have, you know, so um, she didn't steer us wrong. I think the songs were really great on that album. And I think that, you know, we did it really fast. And personally, I would have, would have liked to take more time on my vocals yeah. but that's because like i'm my own worst critic yeah so okay all right well uh hopefully we get to see you play later if we're not busy and uh we hope you have a great weekend and get to see tool and everything i'm trent with Stanley tv hanging out with dorothy thanks for watching everybody